What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we are about to ship this set of plates today. Somebody left a comment in one of my big videos when I found a set of plates, and they were like, hey, how do you ship those plates? Can you make a video on that? So I'm glad they said that because they triggered me having a sale of plates. So a set of plates did sell for me, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap these plates up and ship them out. And I'm gonna record myself doing it. Hopefully this video won't be too long. So if you're having trouble shipping out plates and glassware, maybe this can help you out a little bit. Um, when I first started shipping glass items like mugs, I used to sell a lot of coffee mugs. And out of the maybe 15 coffee mugs that I sold, three broke, you know, and for me, that's not like good odds. So I stopped selling them and then I discovered plates and I just been selling plates ever since and mugs and my technique of wrapping items has gotten a little bit better. So I'm going to show you how I wrap my items up. And if you see a flaw in anything that I do, you know, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section because that's what it's there for. We're here to help each other out. Um, hopefully this video won't be too long. Maybe I said that already. I'm not sure. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this order out. And I like these plates because they're, they're, they're pretty cool looking actually. I like the design of the plates. I never really buy plates. Um, so shout out to like a few people who be posting on Instagram about plates last year. So I kind of got into it. So then, yeah. So let's go ahead and ship this stuff out. So actually two bowls, two app plates, and then two normal plates sold. So I'm going to go ahead and ship all these up. And the only thing I have is bubble wrap as well as some just regular, you know, wrapping paper, shipping paper, wrapping paper, shipping, wrapping paper, however you want to call it. So now what I personally like to do is just take the bubble wrap, put one plate down. You want to get that folded in it and then put that plate on top of that one. And then just fold. I kind of fold twice. And then after I fold twice, rip up a piece of little label and just stick it like that. And then again, I take the bubble wrap, lay it out, and just stick it right back on there. And the sides that I didn't fold the first time, I will make sure that they get wrapped this time. It. Boom. Then I take some of that paper. You can use newspaper, wrapping paper. And then fold that. Secure. Do the same thing with these. And with the smaller plates, I can just utilize the fold. And finally, the bowls. The bowl, I'm just automatically gonna take one piece of bubble wrap and just put it in there.
Now with the bowls, I'm gonna put another layer. I do test it a little bit because I know when they throw it around. Now you have all three of them. Put all three together. And I just call this the last safety layer. You know, it can be a light little layer, put them all together. wrap all that one last time and voila a little practice throw feels nice and secure Now find a box. It should fit in this eBay box. Inside the box, you want to give it as little wiggle room as possible. You don't want it to be moving all over the place. So we're going to stuff some stuff right here. See, now it can't go nowhere. And you want to make sure you like put it around so the edges aren't on the side of the box. So if a box gets dropped somewhere, it's not dropping on its hard side. I don't want the package to be in the middle. See? And that's it. That's how you ship plates. Um, y'all, like I said, just make sure whenever you put the plates inside whatever box that you use that the plates aren't moving all around the box to give it a chance to get damaged in transportation. Just for example, if the package drops off at a high spot or something, let's say if the dude's working, he's stacking boxes and your box is the highest and it falls on the floor and it hits the floor. want to make sure that you're having a little just you know secured inside of the box because even though we bubble wrap the plates and everything like that a lot of friction can still get things chipped inside of the box so um yeah guys and that's it that's pretty much nice fast and in a hurry um only took us about what 10 minutes or so to get all these plates shipped and we made a nice profit off of it don't know exactly how much i made let me look yeah so that took me 10 minutes to wrap all this stuff up the buyer paid $34.99 and they also paid $16.55 to get it shipped so that's that's lovely that's lovely we made about $30 in 10 minutes or so because I've already made all the profits on these plates because we've already sold a set to make my money back and then this is just pretty much profit all I'm putting into it now is my time and it's already shipped but Anyways, thank you guys for watching the channel and I hope it helps somebody ship a plate or two. And if you have a better idea about how to ship a plate than I did, go ahead, please leave it. I mean, we're all different. We have all different strategies and different ideas. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be nice and secure to get it there. So make sure that you get you some bubble wrap and we're just gonna make sure you always wrap it after you bubble wrap it too in something else, newspaper, um, cloth, uh, a towel, just wrap it in something else to secure it besides bubble wrap <laughs> but yeah that's just my opinion but anyways make sure that you bless somebody today because i promise you i'm blessing my tomorrow at this point in time your boy tay 
I'm out.